Hi, welcome to this little presentation. This is George Laird. I am the CAE Director at Applied CAX. This comes about as like, okay, FEMAP is very powerful. It can do everything. Um, some people say, well, you know, something like that is going to be really complex and difficult to model. Well, I want to show something super, super simple. This is a surgical anvil. This is a real project, a real challenge. I'm going to use FEMAP selector and the load was applied here, and they estimated it out to be about 40 pounds. It's down the length of the anvil, so I get 40 there. And the selector is looking for surfaces, and it's looking for things to do on surfaces, like apply a constraint. We're going to fix it at the back. That's the way it was set up. Now, there are several different workflows you can do within FEMAP. I could put the selector onto solids and go from there to tet mesh. Or some people like to work from a tree, and I can go right through here, tet mesh. And it's smart enough to know, well, there's no materials to find. So I'll pick a steel, lock in a steel, and it comes up and says, well, let's mesh it. So I did it like that, and it's still with the selector on, it'll highlight stuff, and I'll just turn the selector off to none. So there's our model. It's been meshed, steel, loads, constraint. So it's ready to go in and create an analysis set. And we'll say new, NASTRAN, and it looks into the database and it'll pick up the boundary conditions last. And I didn't give them a name because I'm just running through it and I'll put requests and we'll just go in and hit analyze. That's it. Bring in geometry, set a load, set a constraint, run it fires it off, runs through the analysis. It's done, analysis complete. It reads in the results to FEMAP and then to go ahead, go into post-processing, they have another pane. You go to contour, say let's contour some stresses. And there we go. You zoom in and there's our maximum stress. Now you see that you have the geometry outline over the mesh. What I'm going to do is turn it off. And they give you a shortcut key for control, control Q. And I can go in here and I can turn off the geometry. Like that. And there's our hotspot right where you expect it. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye bye.